Hello everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. And today I want to show you how I make an ATC wallet. And for those of you who don't know, ATCs are um, artist trading cards. And um, they're kind of, uh, they're many pieces of art that um, artists use as business cards, pretty much. Um, and oftentimes we will do swaps um, in the Facebook group I belong to, the makers of mixed media art artists and I'll we'll do um, ATC swaps and one of our um, group members Martha she um, did a video a couple years ago on how to make um, an ATC wallet but that would fit into this envelope so it's easy um, to mail now I did not cut it very well the first time. Now, it's supposed to fit in the number 10 envelope. I'm not sure if that's the number 10. Let me look at my envelope selection. Now, a lot of these are just from like old bills and stuff, but let's see if I can find one that'll fit this here so we know what size it's going to be. Okay. Because it should fit into, yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is the size envelope uh, that it would fit. Now, the reason for that is because ATCs are typically um, three and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide. And so Martha, she fashioned it so that the wallet would fit three ATC cards and then also fit into the envelope flat. So it's it's easier to mail, it's not as bulky, um, and um, it saves on postage, right? Great idea. And you know, once you make it, you can embellish it any, any way you want, um, keeping in mind, you know, not to go too thick on your embellishments because you want it to fit in this envelope. Um, and so this one I made, and not, uh, ideally I want this flap to be over here, but because I'm left-handed, I do things a little backwards. So what I'm gonna try and uh, do today is mimic this one because this is the style, uh, more of the style I want. Uh, but let me show you this uh, one that I did. So on the back, I use some printed papers, and then I use this one here. So someone, you know, whoever receives it can write down, oh, um, I received this on this day from this person and whatever. Um, and then inside, there's three separate pockets, and then each pocket holds one of my ATCs. And then I just put some paper, more of the uh, printed paper on the back. And then I did some, cut some gel prints and I laid them down here to decorate the front of the pocket. And then I added the grommet or eyelet and some ribbon. And I wanna do that a little bit differently because it just doesn't, it just doesn't tie very well. So I think what I'm gonna do is use the sari ribbon and maybe glue under the paper here, this ribbon and then maybe here that way so you can tell I've never done that before um, but we'll figure it out together right that's what's fun about these videos we all learn together um, but this is a nice you know, elegant looking one um, and I've made some others that I've sent out with ATCs and they've been well received so not too shabby all right so let's set this aside and um, so Martha is seeking for art that is her um, YouTube name. Let me write it on here for you so you can see. And I will also link her in the description box. There we go. So it's at symbol seeking for art on YouTube. And that's Martha. And um, that's where you can find the, the video that this is um, inspired by. And so it's a great way to, because I do a lot of gel printing, it's a great way to use up some gel prints. 
And here I have gel prints on carnival tissue um, in colors that are going to coordinate with the cardstock that I picked out for the wallet. Um, this is 65 pound. Give me two seconds, I will tell you. Yes, it's 65 pound cardstock, like a teal blue. Um, and so uh, I thought we could use these gel prints to um, to decorate the pockets and uh, the panels back and the inside. Um, so first, we need to cut our paper down. So I'm going to move this here. Now this one that I did, I curved the edges. Okay, there. Now originally, Martha cut this portion off, she, this square, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this paper down about five and a half inches, right? And then about an inch and a half is gonna fold up to create your pockets. Here's the thing though. Um, she cut off this bottom portion, this little square. I folded it up and made it into a little tuck. So we could do a little, um, do put a little something extra in there. And so I wanna make sure that when I do all this, this is the side I am, um, is gonna be the flap, the closure, okay? So I'm gonna put that in front of me so I can see it and keep an eye on it. I don't need all that paper really. Oops. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, now this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. My scoreboard is only up to six and a quarter. So we're gonna make it work. Um, first, actually first we need to cut this down. We're gonna cut on the eight and a half uh, side of the paper. And we wanna cut this to five and a half. So when we're done, we're gonna end up with a five and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So you get your five and a half by 11. Okay. Now let's flip this over and then we're gonna score it the long way at one and a half inches. So that's right there. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score it three, three inches. Because remember the ATCs are um, three and a half tall by two and a half wide. So at the three, it gives it um, enough room to hold your ATC, okay? So then we're gonna score at three and one eighth. Okay, so three, three and one eighth, six and one eighth. That is my last score line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip her over. And basically what I need to do is get another eighth here. Now, if you have the longer scoreboard, you're gonna wanna go to six and a quarter. That's the next one. So what I actually did on the first one is I just took a pencil and I marked where it needs to be scored. So that's six and a quarter. The next measurement's gonna be nine and a quarter. Okay, and then nine and three eighths right there. So, and I did it in a you know similar colored pencil so that it wouldn't um, be so noticeable. So what I'll do now is I will take this and I'll come towards the bottom here. So I'll shift everything over. And then I'll just line it up with the score lines and score right where I marked. So we've got that there. And then we just need to do this one right here. Hmm. Are you gonna line up? There we go. Okay. So there we have it. Okay. And from what I remember, Martha had her positioned this way. 
Um, I'm going to go the other way. Like I said, I want this to be on the left side. You could do it the other way if you, if you prefer it that way. Um, and I think that is all the scoring we're going to do. So get this contraption out of the way. Get. I want to round the corners. I'm going to use the seven. There. There. Okay. Let's go ahead and fold this up. And I'll get the, here's my bone folder. That nice and straight. And so, you know, there right away you can see the, the construction. These are your three pockets. This is the back, technically. So, and like I said, what Martha did is she cut this out so there wasn't um, a pocket here. But what I want to do is I want to keep that and I want to make it into a tuck. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here and I'm going to cut sort of at an angle, very slight angle into the corner. That way, when you flip this up and glue it down, I'm going to glue it just on this side. But this way, it doesn't, the edge doesn't bump into the fold. So it folds easily. So what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and fold these other bits. And that way we know um, how everything is going to make sure everything gets lined up right. right. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're well. Doing good here. Cracking along. Trying to get some, uh, some fun videos out for you. If you guys have any ideas for videos, if there's something you want me to uh, demonstrate or if there's, you know, any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comments and, and let me know. Um, and, you know, I can do my best to accommodate. I'm hoping that one day I get enough questions where I can uh, start doing, you know, um, answering viewer questions because uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. So, you know, we could start now. If you guys want to drop in some questions, I will certainly uh, love to put together a, a question and answer video. All right, so going along, we're going to cut angles again, slight angles. We're going to cut these guys out. So we're going to come in here, slight angle right to the end there. That way your pockets will sit nice and flat and when you fold your wallet nothing bumps into each other and there's plenty of room okay. this side there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these to the back side because it's easier to cut that way. Okay. And this one. Okay. Now, before we glue anything, we need to decorate. Um, because it's a lot easier to lay down um, your 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 paper, or your, you know, your decorated paper before you fold these up. Trust me. Um, okay. Now this one that I made, I didn't decorate. It's just sort of a, you know, like a sample, let's say an idea um, that I can keep and then refer to um, when I need to uh, make some more. And these are an easy mass make, you know, cut a bunch of paper, eight and a, uh, five and a half by 11, score them all, 
you know, and you can mass make these and just, and not even glue them, not even decorate them, just have this skeleton ready to go. Save you some time. All right, so let's see. These are the papers that I thought we could um, clear with. And I thought for the inside, we could use this. And, um, but I think I'm gonna cut the tissue so it fits within this little area here. And remember, so we're working with about, is it three and a half inches there? This is three inches. Sorry, three inches because it's a two and a half inch wide um, card, and then three and a half this way. Right. Well, it's four. Sorry, we did four because to, for the length. Okay. So three by four. Let me see. Let's tear off some here. I'm going to try and do more tearing than cutting because it'll look better. And there's, there's, this is carnival tissue. It's it's difficult to tear unless you know where to tear. Um, and you wanna like look for the, I don't know if it's called the grain or the fiber. And that helps. And you take your time, don't rush it. And you can usually get it done pretty well. So I think I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna go a little bigger than I need. And I could always trim, trim off what I don't need. So just take your time. Okay. Let's see. And remember, the pocket's coming up this way, so we don't necessarily have to go all the way down. So I might be able to get away with using this for two, so I just need one more. Wow. How fab is that? Okay. And then on the back, we'll do those. Okay. So let's get rid of these edges. See this, cutting it, uh, ripping it this way, it's a little more difficult, so you want to Definitely take your time so you don't cut off or rip off what you, you know, you, you, you want to keep and use. Let's see here. So when you're cutting it this way, you're tearing it this way, you end up with a more raggedy edge, which is cool with me. Let's fit a call. Um, so I want to figure out, I think just, I'm going to have this and then I can just cut it in half. And that'll be that. Okay. So one, two. do I want? Let's do this end. So three. Eyeball that. And you can certainly just use regular paper. Um, there's a lot of great printed paper out there that you can use. You know, like the, um, I was going to say wasabi paper and that's so not correct. Um, origami paper. And um, some of them come in fun designs. We used those. We recently got this book of papers because um, it was like super inexpensive. And these are fun to use. They're a little bit thicker than um, copy paper, but not too much. So you could always, you know, use them on one side and then do something lighter on the other side. Um, yeah, all kinds of possibilities. Another thing you could do is you could just draw on them. If you, if you um, like to draw, you could um, do photos, all sorts of things. All right. 
So this is going to be a little longer than I wanted. I'm just going to... Which side do I want to tear? I'm going to tear a little bit over here. That way I have a somewhat of a border around them, around the gel print. Just trim them up and then I'll just I'll glue them uh, all at once. And those little bits I do save because I can use them in, in other stuff. going to use my glue stick today for these. I think that will be sufficient. So let's glue. Make sure you get your edges. This is a fun lazy day project or got a little stormy weather and you can't go out or you don't want to be out. Good activity. Good way to use up scraps, too. All right, so let's try and get this down as carefully as possible. See? Just like that, you transformed a little wallet. That's beautiful. Okay. Numero dos. This reminds me I need to order more glue sticks. Jeez. Going through these like nobody's business. And it's not like I order one at a time. I'll order, you know, several, but it's just I, I use them. I guess that's a good thing, right? I'm trying my best to center them. And the good thing about this glue stick is you can... Gives you a little time to maneuver and, and get everything in place. As you can see, it's not completely straight. It's not, it's a little crooked and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Exactly. Are you hiding? Hey, naughty boy. And then for the back, we will um, do use these other tissues I have, have up here that I made. Um, these are prints I made using a Franken stencil that I, I sort of put together on a gel plate using extra Yupo pieces. Um, from stencils that I will cut out and they were, um, they were gifted to me by Mariah at PM Artist Studio. Um, because I requested them and because she's super awesome. And what I, um, what I do with them is I'll do all sorts of stuff. Like I, um, I did some AT ATCs for our May swap and I, um, it's a geo, it was a geometric theme. And so I cut out some geometric shapes using the Yupo. I colored it with different alcohol inks, um, and then glued them down to my ATC and look really cool. Very, very cool. All right, so we're good here. We do need a piece for here. So let's do that. Now the question is, where do I want this string? So if 
this goes like this. We get one string here. And we just put this one here as well. Yeah, so this one. Mm. I'm talking this through, guys. I'm talking it through. I mean, I may just tie it like this. I mean, because it's not going to be tied in the envelope, obviously, but I want someone, the person who receives it, to be able to, you know, close it. And I know there's probably a ton of you out there yelling at me, do it like this, this is how you do it, there's a video on it. I know, I just didn't look it up before I got on the video, but, you know, like I said, this is how we learn. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna stick with uh, the grommet idea. But I'm gonna keep decorating and then we'll figure it out. Okay, for this one, I need a little bit here. Slowly. <laughs> and I like these, um, this, the idea of this wallet because you can use all sorts of colors for your wallet. You could tailor it to a theme. Um, so, you know, like back to that mask making idea of where you cut out the skeletons and just have them ready to go to decorate. Um, you know, you get a rainbow package of your cardstock and have all sorts of colors ready to go. Yeah, here we are. Searching for my glue stick. And the great thing about this uh, carnival tissue is it's it doesn't rip easily when you are um, when you're gluing and stuff. Because some, some, I've I've tried to glue that more you know the regular tissue that you get like for gift wrapping, and that's you have to be very careful with that. That will wrinkle and rip. But this this lays out nice and flat. This side. Now we can go ahead and glue these pockets. And what I, I just want to trim this one just a little bit. Okay. Much better. So I'm thinking this corner, I want to round that. So we'll do a four on there. And then that'll be a little tuck spot. And then we have, I think we're good. And I have uh, some blue ink. I'm not gonna grunge it out, but I want to do some distressing. So I'm gonna use this um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Faded Jeans. The helicopters are back. I swear to God, every time I sit down to do a video, it's like 50 helicopters decide to fly over the neighborhood. It's usually just like a traffic copter or, you know, a med flight because we live, where I live, we're very close to the, um, to all the hospitals here in Boston. And so, you know, we'll hear the, the helicopters coming through when they are taking someone in, like, you know, like I said, the med flight. So. Oh, 
yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, because it's getting flipped out. I was confused as to why am I thinking this side? I think, and it's just, you know, adds a little more interest. It keeps it from looking so flat. And then we'll do a little decoration in there. Um, I have some rub-on stickers in gold that my friend Maya sent me. Maybe we'll use those on here. That would be cool. So that we could decorate the fronts of the pocket with that. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and go around. To glue the pocket flaps on, I'm going to use the, um, the glitter glue because it's got that little fine, fine point tip. So we can just lay down the tiniest bead of glue. And that way you're not taking up space that would be for your um, ATC card. And our glitter glue dries clear. There's no glitter in it. That's just the brand name. There's the truck. Next, we need the motorcycle, guys. Can you make that happen? And then you, um, so it dries clear. Um, so if you get a little, you know, seepage, it's okay. It will disappear. All right. Now this guy, this is just gonna be a tuck. So I'm only gonna glue it on this end here. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna put on the back. So I pulled out these four prints. They're all the same design, just to, obviously different colors. Um, and I thought we could just use a little bit of every, of all of them. Now let's start with the yellow. I wanna do the yellow here on the end. Actually, I wanna do it in the middle because when you close this, Oh, actually, this is the first. That's the one I want to do because that's the one you're going to see when it's closed. So we'll tear about here. Now, this one you're not going to cover up with the pockets, so you want to make sure you get a nice, um, nice coverage. How much do I have this sort to cut off? About too, too much. Yeah. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off of here because I like the design at the top portion, and then they can trim off more at the bottom. Yeah, so you 
this one, you gotta use your fingers all the way down. Okay, let me get this glue down. This glue book, I need to get rid of that. That's just, it's a mess from punching the using my awl to punch holes in the, in my journals for, um, you know, to sew them. Okay. And then gingerly. And I picked these two because these have colors. These have some of that turquoise color that matches the cardstock. So you can see. You can tell there. So there's bits of it throughout. So that I thought that worked kind of well. Now it's funny, I didn't cut this one, I just tore it and it still looks like I cut it. Weird. Alright, so in the middle. Should we do a little shiny shine? Let's do the shiny in the middle. Okay. Gonna tear down this end. Ooh, look at that. Very nice, Eddie. Very nice. And then let's do some of this here. This overhangs, I'm cool with that. I just trim it off. Let's take a little too much on this side. Now you could use gel medium, you know, acrylic medium, if you wanted to, to, to glue this down. You could use Mod Podge. Um, you can Mod Podge over the whole thing as well, once it's all decorated. Um, you know, but that's up to you. It's a personal choice. And um, sometimes, you know, that's the choice you wanna make and that's cool. Right, let's do this chartreuse. Go like that. Do this. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Because I like this bottom right corner. off as well. Go this way and trying to get that little white bit. A little narrower. Actually no this was the was this the side. Yeah I think this was the side I wanted. No it was this side. Yeah okay that's cool. We're not going for perfection, kids. Oh, well, I asked for a motorcycle, but we got a, a motorbike. 
Got one of those little electronic or gas-powered scooters that terrorize the neighborhood. I don't mind the scooters themselves. It's the way these, these guys drive them in and around traffic and, you know, through a residential neighborhood. And they're just not very uh, careful, let's just say. And then on the end, should I want to repeat the gold. So let's see, I've got this bit here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sticky fingers. Uh, baby wipe. That should do it well. Okay, it's gonna go up to the fold, but that's that is okay. It's it's a thin paper. The, the tissue's thin, so it will um, it will bend with the bend. Let's trim some of this off. say what we're gonna do here I can't rewind the video right now <laughs> I'm going to distress it a little bit more now that I know where everything is now we're, you know we have all the the papers laid out so we know we can see what maybe needs a little bit more of a of an inking and again I'm using uh, the Tim Holtz distressed ink in faded denim If you wanted to, you could even do little thumb holes here. I don't think it's super necessary, but you can uh, certainly do that. I think I need to distress more. Oh, I didn't do the back, that's why. So I was waiting to decorate it.
So these are the rub-on transfers that my friend Maya sent me. One is feathers and the other one is sea creatures. So I want to do ones that are going to fit. So I think let's start with sea creatures. We'll definitely, you know, mix and match. And these are gold metallic. So we're gonna cut out. So it says here. Let's let's read the directions. Cut out the letter or the design of your choice with scissors. Peel off the backing transparent sheet. Place the letter design with the adhesive side down. Smooth rub. Okay. So let's see. What is the first one? And now, what we could do first actually is let's put down some words. my little word box. Let's see here. Just some single words. Hopefully I can find without too many, too much issue. A little too small. I guess I'll do this, this phrase here. This is today's full of possible. I'll do that one. Let life surprise you. We'll go with this one. It's a little darker. And one more. Let's see what we can find in this mess. I'm trying to find some on the same type of coffee dyed paper so it's a little more cohesive looking got that one yeah yeah but what else Okay, there is simplicity, or there's beauty in simplicity. All right, so let's trim these down, ink them up, and we'll get them um, glued down. And then we can put our little web bones over that. Okay, so this, let me trim a little bit. It's really warming up out there. Ooh, that just hit me. I like it though, I'm glad. Summer's almost here. There's one. And then, yeah, we've got to trim them up. I think this one will go in the middle. Get a little music today too, see? I hope that's not copyrighted. Sounds of the City with Eddie Makes Art. That's what I should start calling these. Oh, there's a bus. Yeah. 
Um, city noises. I remember when I first left Boston, I moved from Boston to Memphis, which, you know, in and of itself is a culture shock. However, what was even more shocking is how quiet it was because I moved to a suburb of Memphis uh, called Germantown. And um, it was just so quiet. And at first, I just, I couldn't handle it. I'm like, why is it so, it's just too quiet. Well, lo and behold, I got used to it. And then, 10 years later, after I moved, you know, a few different places, I got back to Boston. And man, that noise shock was real. And I'm still not really used to it, and I've been back for at least 10 years, but you know, you take what you get and you don't get upset. So if we, let's decide what we want. We can do a shell. I like that one. So this is gonna be interesting. Trying to cut around this without cutting a des another design. Oof. Fussy cutting through clear paper is not easy when the design is almost clear too. Let's do the whale here. Right down there. Carefully. So that'll go there. And then simplicity in the middle. Mm. Should we do a feather or just keep it sea life? Let's keep it the sea life. I'm cool with that. Let's do this. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Can't decide. Let's do the starfish. Starfish, yeah. Or you know what, this shell is right here and ready to be cut. I'm not going to mess around. Let's just cut that out. Okay, so with this one, we're going to first figure out where we're going to place things. So if I place that there... I can place the shell here. So that actually goes almost in the middle towards the right. So you gotta talk these things through or else I forget. We peel the paper off. Come on, here we go. Place it down. There's our bone folder here. Give it a good, a good burnishing is what they say. Okay. It needs a little more, so I'm gonna give it another minute or a few seconds just to make sure I get these little lines. Otherwise, it's just pointless, right? Hey, that's pretty good. 
pretty good, not, not too bad. Only left a tiny, tiny bit on there. And then for Simplicity's Beauty, let's see, this one. Okay, that sounds that sounds like a plan. I'm gonna put it that way. Because I want definitely want the you know the the transfer to show the shell. So I want to give it give it its day in the sun, as it were. Yep, that one's already peeled off, so. You right there. Okay. And you see, I like how that the design is going right over the, the phrase there because it just makes it more interesting. All right, let's see how I did. No, I wonder if these just, could be the weather too. It's very dry here. We haven't had rain in a little while. Okay, we got most of it. Yeah, so we got most of it. Let me get some out of the way. Now for this young man. Whale will go here and the phrase there. Okay, so we're going to put our phrase down first. I could, I mean, you could decorate these, you know, so many different ways. I would, I could sit here for hours and, and just add all sorts of stuff. But I just wanted to show you one where, you know, from start to finish and some decorating, basic decorating. Uh, I think I did this backwards. Yeah, I did. That is okay. That's okay. Now, let me try this just using the back of my fingernail. That may work better. We'll see. The finger worked the best. Ah. Nature's tools, always the best. All right, so I think that is all done. I don't wanna um, keep you any longer, but you know. I wanted to show you the basic um, ATC wallet. And where is our sorry silk? And for this one, I'm just going to tie it up like so. Mm, let's see here, come on. Should I have enough here? Get a little bit of a, well, doesn't want to behave, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. My fingers are too big. <laughs> so there you have it, we have an ATC wallet. Thank you, Marta, for the Martha for the inspiration um, and the measurements. She gave me the measurements too, um, and I'll link her video below so you can watch that. And um, yeah, oops. So that was fun, and when we mail them, they'll fit right. In here. So, oops. Actually, oops. this should be folded in. There you go. And you slip the string in there. 
and it's ready for the post office. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know um, if there's anything else you want to see me do here on Eddie Makes Art. Thanks so much. Have a great day.